Welcome friends. Let us solve the sixth part of question number one of exercise 3.6 of chapter 3. And the question says solve the following pair of equation by reducing them to a pair of linear equation. So let us solve this question. This is our equation number one of the pair. Uh, let us divide this equation both the sides by x, y. Then we have 6 over y plus 3 over x equals to 6. Same as if we divide this second equation both the sides by x, y then it becomes 2 over y plus 4 over x equals to 5. And now we shall let 1 over y is equals to p and 1 over x is equals to q. Therefore the first equation becomes 6p plus 3q equals to 6 and the second equation becomes 2p plus 4q equals to 5. This is our equation number 1 let and this is our equation number 2. We can divide the equation number 1 by 3 both the sides then we have 2p plus q equals to 2 and this suppose this is our equation number 3 and now we shall apply the elimination method to solve this pair of linear equation and we observe that the coefficient of p in both the equation equation number 2 and equation number 3 is same so we shall just subtracting equation number 3 from equation number 2 we have 2p plus 4q minus 2p plus q equals to 5 minus 2 so we have 2p plus 4q minus 2p minus q equals to 3 we can cancel out minus 2p with plus 2p then we have 3q equals to 3 this means q is equals to 1 and now we shall substitute this value in equation number so we shall write putting in equation number 2 to get the value of p and the equation number 2 is 2p plus 4q q is 1 equals to 5 this means 2p is equals to 5 minus 4 this means this is equals to 1 so 2p is equals to 1 this means p is equals to 1 over 2 and now we can easily find out the value of x and y so if p is equals to 1 over 2 then 1 over y is equals to 1 over 2 this means y is equals to 2 and same as if q is equals to 1 then 1 over x is equals to 1 this means x is equals to 1 so this is the solution of the question thank you